Yo, what's up? Welcome to Clifford Chase Studios. This is your boy Clifford Chase here, your host for this new show. This is actually the first ever episode for Century Scoop. Century Scoop, if you don't know, is our Christian news segment. This show, this segment is basically a segment where we talk about what's happening in the faith, what is happening in the sanctuary, what is the scoop, what is the tea on the faith, you know, and so um, I pray that you guys are excited for that because, listen, this is this is going to be good. So I'm going to be doing this with my co-host, my own friend, my own son, one of my kids, you know, um, Clifford, uh, I said Clifford Cherry, Jesus, um, Theo, Theo Art. So how you doing, bro? It's not Theo Art. Uh-huh. It's Theo. It's Theo. Oh, now it's not the art anymore. It's not art anymore. Uh, okay. So um, I'm just going to be doing this with Theo. So today, um, as you guys can see by the title, um, there's a whole Christian club thing happening. Um, and I, I, I don't I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. But before we get started, there's all kinds of things. Basically, yo, um, I'm hearing that, you know, Christians, instead of church, you know, there's a thing called Christian club. You know, where you just go and hang out and all of that stuff. <laughs> so, uh, before we get into it, there's a video. It's trending all over. I mean, now they're opening branches, <laughs> you know. So, before we get into it, you know, let's let's play the video. Theo has a video. We're going to play the video, video so you guys have a better understanding on, you know, exactly what's going on. So, yo, play the video. God told me and my husband to create the very first Christian nightclub here in L.A. Right now, Christians have nowhere to have fun. Like, Nah. We not going to normal clubs. We not going to bars. No, we we ain't. ain't going to parties. No, we ain't. So Christians need a space to turn up in a wholesome environment that yes, allows us to just be united for Jesus. Okay, mm -hmm. this is the start of a humongous movement. Okay, yeah, there is. will be Christian spaces and on every corner representing fun that we can have without weed, drinks, mm. and other worldly stuff. Mm. So right now, this one is coming to LA. Please like and share this post so people from LA can see this and we can turn up. Okay. <sighs> yes, sir. <laughs> What you think, bro? Interesting. I ain't know. I mean, I, it's their words. They said God told them. First of all, I didn't know they had Christians in LA. Like, <laughs> I didn't know they had no. Christians in LA. Bro, bro. But Why like, not, though? It's, it's wild, though. Like, God told me is that's a crazy statement, you she, know? She said God told her and her husband to open a Christian club in LA. So stuff like that, like how how they got to both of them, like at the same time. Maybe they like, had a dream, <laughs> <laughs> like Martin Luther King. I had a dream, but like I don't I don't know how I feel though, because for me I'm like, so then so then what is, what is church for? I don't know. You know, not not a lot of people like church though, just because it's church. They just want it to be a club so they could do whatever they want. <laughs> want it to be a because like, mm, because my whole thing is this. Maybe it's the name that's doing it for me. Christian club. Those two words don't go together for me. Because, and not just, it's a nightclub. Uh, at first, look, okay, I ain't gonna lie. At first, I didn't think it was too crazy. Because mm -hmm. maybe I get the dynamics. Mm -hmm. It could be like, you know, like a poetry slam, they do it at night. Mm -hmm. Stuff like that. But like. A Christian club. Once they said nightclub, that's when I kind of, you know. So but what are go? they going to be doing, though? Are they just going to be... I mean, they said in the video, they said... No um, weed, no weed, no drinking. No weed, no drinking, but just they're dancing, church. you know. At least church, we got communion, you they know. They said they want a place where we have communion. <laughs> they said they want a place where they can have fun, right? Outside of all that church stuff. So they, they want to just be able to have fun. And now this thing is like, it's all over the place. This is L.A. I'm hearing there's one in other states and stuff. By the time you realize, we in Jersey. There's one coming in Jersey soon. I mean, I think they should bring one in Jersey. <laughs> nah, yo, nah, you're bugging. I don't, I don't blame them. I don't think God told them, but I don't blame them. You How know do you I, know that? Because churches are boring nowadays, right? Our church is lively, but okay. not everybody has okay. that same church. Okay. So they, they, you know, they will probably base it on as fun, mm -hmm. but a lot of churches are just boring they don't really have that fun factor so mm. it doesn't really cater to this generation so i wouldn't i wouldn't really blame them for thinking of a nightclub but i don't really think god told them i just think they just want a better way to you know so will god. you go will you go to a night a christian nightclub nah i'm here i don't i ain't gonna go i'm not going there for real guys uh, would you go to a guys nightclub? i would not go i would not go because honestly i just feel like like you said i think that's the problem right like for us our church we're really lively and not just church but like there's community right um i think i think there's a fine line between fun and you just wilding now you know mm -hmm. i believe christians can have fun 
without losing their conviction, right? But like once you name a Christian club, like I saw one video that said they were having a Christian club and that, that event that they were having was mm -hmm. on crossover night. 30, 31st night that we were crossing over. You're supposed to be at you're supposed to be at church crossing over, you know? Not a lot of churches do that. Not a lot of churches do that though. That is they right. don't they don't do that. And with them, I don't even think they go to church. They might not even go to church. Mm. You feel me? So it's it's understandable to a certain extent, but I don't really agree. But will with God Christian. like you guys let really us know. You guys let us know. Like, will what? God ever tell somebody to start a Christian club? You know? Cause like, you know, hold on, let me let me go in the comments. Uh, yeah, let's read the at. comments because let, that's what it be. Know, like, let me go to the comments. God though, like all my all my life reading the Bible, he told people to start churches. He told people to, you know, I mean start all kinds of things, but Christian club. So this girl called Oni Renee. Okay, I probably said it wrong. What she said? She said, This is what church is for. No ma'am. God ain't tell you nothing. Th that's what I'm saying though. Like God ain't really Because if you're nothing. doing this, then what's the point of church? It's a lot of it's a lot of God ain't tell you, God ain't tell you. And that's the problem with our generation, bro. Everything God, God said, God said. Today, God said, God said, and bro, we so gonna talk got, about if that. If I give me and told you, God said, give me a thousand dollars. What would you say? No, no. <laughs> he yeah, has to confirm it with God. me. Too. No, he has to confirm it with me too. God nah. speaks to bro. God speaks to everybody. And I'm, I, I want to know whether he said that or not. And and this is what I, that's how I know I'll catch you. Give me a thousand dollars to do what? Just chill. What you mean? Nah. To chill. Nah. What, we gonna, what would you use a thousand dollars for? To, to build this church. Nah. Oh, he's on his right, right, bro. I'll all build right, this church. Right, nah, right, bro. Right. I'm just nah, saying. but I really don't believe that God told them. But if God did tell them that, I really think God just told them to go to church. Just <laughs> <laughs> to do a nightclub, a Yo, Christian nightclub, no drinking. That's wild. First of all, a lot of singles will go in there. And when they go in there, this is going to be focused on the girls. Mm -hmm. And it's going to... It's just like, it's a potential for just failure. Mm. So I don't really think it will end well. It will start pretty off good, but like, mm. Mm. if you go to a Christian nightclub and you're drinking and you're worshiping, I don't even know if they're going to worship or not. But they worship, bro. They be worshiping. They All you need is a preacher. You just go to church. They got a word too. They had a preacher and they're preaching. Who? Nah, I saw one video. And, they, and if they invite you to go preach, you going to preach? Oh yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to preach. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I don't know if they don't like my word though. But I'm yeah, preaching in there if they nah. ask me to come. Okay. They asked me to come, but like if your if, like, if your girl told you she's just going to to a Christian nah. nightclub without nah. you, though it's just a Christian nah. bro. It's church. Nah. If your girl said I'm going to church without you, will you let her go? Yeah, you can go. So to if church. she's going to a Christian nightclub, what's the point? But it's not church. It's they're doing it's church not stuff. Church. Nah, it's not church. Bro, guys, I don't even know if the spirit there or not. Where, That's what they're where saying. Where two or three are gathered. <laughs> listen, listen, it's not. It's not about the building. No, if I ain't there, he ain't where there. Where two or three are gathered? If I ain't there, he not there. The spirit is there, man. But. It's a slow for me. It's a no for me. I mean, I think, I think, maybe, I may sound a little crazy, but you never know, bro. Maybe it's not as bad as we're thinking. Okay, I feel like if you're looking for a wife, it's not bad. Cause you know. Yo, people come to church even to look for a wife and a husband. But the agenda is different. I mean, the agenda. It's a, a lot of hidden agenda. And I, I, I want to say this, right? This is my final thing, me, I have to say, because this thing is over me. But let's not lose sight on the fact that church, the reason for Christianity is not fun first. The reason for our gathering is never about fun first. Now, I think we have watered down church and Christian gathering about us first. Like, people, mm -hmm. people literally die for what you want to call a club, you know? So I think we really have to look into discipleship, people being saved, lives being transformed. And then the fun aspect should come with it. Because if not, then a lot of people will get saved. Mm -hmm. And instead of going to a church where they're groomed, they're going into, they're, they're being taught the foundations of the faith, they'll get through that and go to a Christian club. And that'll become the standard for their faith. Mm -hmm. Because you can't take every fun experience in the world into the church. It doesn't work that way. Right. And I think that's what a lot of people are trying to do. Like They still want to keep that feeling of when I was in the world, Right. In the church. No, you got to let it go. Like, it's okay. Like, like you can have fun without it having to look like the world. So that's what I have to say. I really think that God probably called them to be evangelists. They just don't know that. Yeah. Because they don't read their Bible. Because mm -hmm. if you think God is calling you to open a Christian club, he's like, nah, like, I'm just calling you to just save people. Mm -hmm. But the enemy is getting to their minds because mm -hmm. they probably just got out of the club. They was drunk and they thought God told them something. God didn't right. really tell you nothing. I think me. it was praying you know and fasting. I don't even think But then God. again. But... 
who are we? <laughs> so, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, yeah, no. we are done. Let us know what you think in the comment section. Um, will God tell somebody to, um, you know, start a Christian club? I don't know, but we shared our opinion. We want to know what your opinion is also in the comment section. Until next time, don't forget to be blessed, be yourself, and be yeah. happy. Peace. <laughs>